guys, what's up and welcome back. It's me, Avery from The Mole. And as you guys have probably heard, they're now casting season two of the show. But there's a twist. <laughs> Among them is an imposter, The Mole. So I wanted to share for the first time my experience going through the casting process and how you can maybe utilize that to get casted yourself, maybe for season two, season three, or another Netflix show that you have the desire to be casted on. My experience obviously is within the casting process for The Mole, so hopefully you can utilize this for other shows as well. But because I was actually casted for The Mole, I'm just going to talk about my experience with this show in particular and how you can utilize what I'm going to tell you to hopefully get casted yourself. So first things first, the mole wants people who are very, very down to earth. They said that to me multiple times during my interview. Um, they're not looking for like extravagant personalities per se. Um, maybe you have like a funny personality or you bring something extra to the table. That's fine, but they're definitely not looking for like drama causing personalities. I, at least I didn't get that from my conversations and just like the cast as a whole. As as you guys saw from watching the show, the cast that actually got casted wasn't really like a dramatic cast. So I think they're looking for really down to earth people. So if that's you, I suggest applying. Second thing to consider is that they're not looking for crazy jobs. I mean, I know I have a crazy job, but I was pretty much the only person who got casted who doesn't have a normal job. The rest of the cast was marketing analyst and veterinarian and a law associate, things like that. Like they're really normal everyday jobs. So don't get discouraged just because you maybe have like a desk job or a normal job doesn't mean you don't have skills that might help you in playing the game. And it doesn't mean that they don't want to cast you. So if you want to utilize your everyday job to showcase to the casting directors that you can actually be a great person to be on the show. I suggest thinking about your everyday job or one of your hobbies and tying that into why you'd be a great candidate for the mole. For instance, I'm a professional video gamer and the mole is kind of like an in-person game. So when they asked me questions about why I thought I would be good for the game or good for the show, I told them that I would utilize all of my abilities that I've used in the gaming world to apply them to be a great player on the mole, that I would pay attention to detail, that I would utilize my skills in the gaming industry to try and figure out and solve the mystery. I know there was a person on the cast who's a firefighter, so he talked about how he would utilize his situational awareness to excel in the game or excel in the show. If you're able to tie in your personality, your hobbies, or your real life into how you can be a great cast member, then I'm sure you'll move on to the next round. The next thing that is great to showcase when you're doing the interview process or filling out paperwork for the application to the show would be to showcase that you as a person are very diverse and have a lot of things to bring to the table. For instance, if you say like, I'm an accountant, I'm really good at crunching numbers and I feel like this will help me when playing the game because I pay attention to detail or something like that then actually think about how you can expand that further and really dive into your personality. I think everyone is unique. Everyone has something to bring to the table, but it's really how you showcase that to the audience who's gonna be watching the show and to the casting producers, that will help you get casted on the show. So for instance, if you are an accountant, you love crunching numbers, you feel like that'll help you, but then you also have like a really funny personality or you also have experience in camping and survival skills, or maybe you have experience in something other than one of those fields that might be useful to the show. You just wanna grab every little piece of your personality, every little piece of your being, your hobbies, your job, maybe even your relationships with your friends and family, everything that can be helpful to giving you a leg up on the show as a cast member. I feel like it could be something honestly as crazy as like a really strange family dynamic. Like maybe your family dynamic is super abnormal and because of that you've had to like read your family members and that makes you feel like you can read other people really well. Um, or maybe you have experience dealing with a lot of strangers. So 
things like that will really help you to tie in your person, your being as a whole and your hobbies and showcase why you'd be a great fit for the show. Just remember at the end of the day, only 12 people get casted and probably hundreds of thousands of people apply. So if you don't get it the first time, don't feel discouraged. There's lots of other shows out there and there's probably going to be multiple other seasons. Keep studying and honestly, just be you. I think the worst thing you can do going into an interview or a casting application is to do something that hinders you from showcasing who you really are. Because as soon as the cameras go on, even if you get casted being this fake personality, your real personality is going to come out. And if you've lied about who you are in the process, that's going to show on the cameras and it's not going to be good for either the producers or yourself. So just try and be you. That is the best advice I can probably give you. I also wanted to use this video to take a moment and say thank you so much for all of the love messages I've received, all of the support on my social media, the fans of the show. You guys mean the world to me. So thank you so much for supporting me and my career career and everything that I'm doing online. Um, it's been quite the journey, but I'm really, really proud to have been a part of it. So if you guys continue to engage with my content and engage with what I'm doing online outside of the show, that means the world to me. So thank you so much for being here. I hope that this helped you. I know it was short and sweet, but there's really no reason to give a lot of fluff around it. The fact of the matter is they're going to go with who they're going to go with. And um, if that's you, I can't wait for you to experience the crazy journey that you're about to experience. And if not, just because you don't get casted doesn't mean that you're not an amazing person or you don't provide something to the world. They probably didn't even see your application. There's so many people that submit. So don't get discouraged. Keep putting out great vibes into the world. I believe in good karma. And um, yeah, thanks for being here. Kiss